Well, this is the Provo River, May 16th, 2019, and uh, comes a goose down, downstream that is, not that he's, he's covered with goose down, <laughs> under those feathers. It's a, it's a peaceful day, the weather's kind of nice today, and uh, I thought I'd take some video of my friend Phil Bear. And I'm taking it from across the river to give you some perspective on how to cast. Notice he's just sitting up there on the bank, not paying too much attention. There's a lizard on a log behind him. There it comes back again. He's waiting for the fish to come up. He fishes dry flies exclusively. When he sees, sees some rising, he gets down there and catches one just like that. We'll, t we'll talk on this video a little bit about how how he presents the fly and so forth. We're not talking about a lot of close-ups here of fish and things like that. We're talking about seeing how he does this. He's a master at this. Dry flies fish after another, one, out of, one after another. Doesn't use a net, he says. It slows him down, he says. <laughs> Don't recommend trying to grab them like that. It's, it's, you, you better be good to, to get them like that. There's a lady that has seen, has seen my videos and, and I saw her and her husband on the stream so she she was casting there and and uh, nice run there. She had a, a small bounce rig on there. Not a bounce rig, rather it's an inline rig. That is the sinker was above the fly rather than on the end. Had to, had to counsel with her just a little bit. She's seen the videos, but she wasn't mending. And so notice she's not mending. It's a good flow there, but she's still getting micro drag. So I helped her with that and the result was success. Sometimes it's a fine, fine point. Now this is her husband, Fred. He's got one on here. He's, he's in the same hole uh, where uh, Phil is across the, across the way fishing. Bringing one up there. Uh, not a very big one, but he was a, he's fishing a bounce rig on the, uh, across from Phil. Phil was in, in water that's fairly slow. With, on this side, there's a the current, and, and uh, the, fish were, the fish were taken down. I was on the camera. I couldn't go out there and help him uh, land that I should have, but I nobody on the camera so well there Phil has another one on notice he's over there where the water is fairly still I mean it's not still it's slowly moving but he's he's not fishing in the current hey this is a this is tough situation to when you're fishing in calm water like that so you have to have a good presentation you have to have a nice long leader. Phil uses about a nine foot with a, and then adds some tippet to that. So he's probably talking 12 feet a leader. Only down to 5X, so he, that's, he, he doesn't go lighter than that because he likes to bring the fish in and he'll grab the leader and, and uh, help him land them. And if he uses lighter than that, then, then uh, they break off. So, and he, he catches plenty of fish with that 5X tippet, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fault him for that. I can't catch that many. Matter of fact, I don't know anybody stroke for stroke in the same place that can catch as many fish as this guy, guys. All dry flies, and the one he, special one that he, that he ties, it's called the No See em. He's got a website called noseeem.com. Now you look at it. See these, these simple flies. That's a good fish there. That's probably 15, 16 inches of fish. That's a good fish. Now he's just sitting there, overlooking the water there. And he's, uh, he's going to get some powder and put on that fly. He does it every time. Trust me, it makes a difference. This, 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 this little fluffy powder that you put on that, that, uh, that uh, waterproofs the fly like you can't believe. So he's going to get back into action here, I guess. Notice he's... He's standing on the bank. He's not in the water. And there's bushes and stuff right behind him and everything. But he's not hanging up. 
he's catching fish. You just have to cast so you don't hang up behind you. You can cast up high behind you or you can cast along the shore. Feel I got another one. Now one thing I wanted to show you is that when he casts out, he doesn't just just uh, cast out and wait a second or something and cast again. In this situation, this is slow water. He casts out there and he lets it drift slowly, patiently. Makes it see see the slight movement he, he made there. That's it's just a little tiny mend that he made. Little tiny mends, you see, just a little bit patient, and so forth. This is something to watch. This is a skill that you need to develop. That the make make mends, but that'll do the job, but not so, not too big, not 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 aggressive, just little mends and so forth. And it it works. Now he missed one there. Notice he cast cast one way and then cast the other way. He's he's not hanging up behind him though. And these aren't long casts. He's not. This is not a casting tournament. Just get the fly out there. Now he he moved upstream there a little bit. Now this is a little different situation. There's a little bit more current there, uh, but not as much. So he's casting out to the edge of that faster current on the far side, and then letting it come down very slowly, uh, patiently, little little tiny men. And that's a downstream men there. You see, rather than an upstream men. You need to mend in the directions. It's all about your fly uh, floating naturally. You missed that one. If you if they come up and take the fly, uh, these are sophisticated fish or they're educated fish. They come up and take it and they'll spit it out right away if it's if it's not real. So that's why he struck so fast there and missed one. Now, he, of course, he's got This time he didn't miss one. He's got this one. Plays it in. He's got a system. He plays He plays them in. When he gets ready to land them, he doesn't have a big old land, big old long net or anything. He just uh, gets down there and wets his hand and he comes in. Now, this is a big, this but relative, for this, for, it's a relatively big fish uh, for the given the situation. This is probably this is probably 16, 16 inches long. I mean, I'm not close enough to to do it, but I, I'm not overestimating. This is this is a good sized fish, all on dry flies. And the dry, very small dry flies. It's, it's about a size 22, I think. So it, that's about the size of the little uh, BWOs that are uh, mayflies that are coming down. Notice, again, he he stops and he puts that puts that powder on the fly to make it float high. It makes a difference. Trust me, it makes a difference. Notice he's not making big, huge motions with his case. He's just just flicking it out there. You don't have to cast all the way across the river to catch fish. See the little tiny mends he's making? Mend that is, well I should, I should say that the mending is moving the line slightly, flipping it one way or the other, so that the fly on the end will float naturally, it won't be, that the line itself won't drag it. And this is real time here, so you can see that, see uh, that uh, it. Uh, you have to be patient in, the, in this sl in this slow water situation. There's a few fish rising. If you really, they're hard to see out there. But it's those little flips up, the, those little small rises. Those are big fish. They're just uh, the, the big fish don't make a, bit, a lot of commotion when they're taking flies off the top. At least not small flies. Now he's got one. I wish I'd had this in the middle of the frame, but I didn't. But hopefully you can see this. He's on the fish is on the right hand edge. He plays him. He plays him pretty fast. He doesn't. He doesn't force the issue, but he plays him in. Plays him in so he can uh, not wear him out too much, and so he can get another one. 
Bill has a counter on his, a golf counter on his wrist and he counts them all. If Phil says it's 17 fish, he caught it's 17 fish. Tell me how much the day was like today. Beautiful day, there's clouds coming in, a storm rolling in for several days it looks like. Uh, just a beautiful cloud covered day, warm, nice. Yes. Yeah, you took a day off because you, why did you take a day off? I took a vacation day because it's going to get busy soon for me and the water's going to come up. You better get out and get fishing because it's going to change here shortly and the blue wings are coming off with this cloud cover and the storm coming in. Yeah, isn't, isn't it true that I can always know where to find you if it's, if, if, if it's <laughs> at all possible? If it's cloudy, you're, you're fishing the river. The weather's bad, Jim can find me down here on the river. So what were you using today? That said, the same thing as I always do, Jim. I had the no CM on. It's a blue wing pattern that I tie up. And it was the grizzly because the color's kind of bad today. So I had a grizzly color on so I could see it. Did you, now, tell, tell people where, about your uh, website so they can find it and see pictures of it and so if, forth. Because I, yeah. I don't have as good pictures as you do. Yeah, if you want to see it, you can go to noseemfly.com. That's N-O-S-E-E-F-L-Y.com, and you can get a look at them there. So what size are we using? What colors? It's a 22, pretty typical size I use, and the hackle size is probably a size 12 today. Uh, I just use the same fly. That's really a tiny fly compared to what a lot of people use. It is tiny. It's small. So, so what about your leader? What was the leader? I have about a nine and a half, ten foot tapered leader on and down to, I hate to admit it, Jim, with 5X. I know you. It, it, it always works for you. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I tried it. You're, you're exactly right. Now, it's a windy day. This is a tough day. Yes, it? it's a windy day. The cast is a little harder, um, but the fishing was good. So it's, a, it's a March the 16th today. March 16th. River. The hatch is still actually going on. It's what, 10 to 3 right now probably? Yeah, yeah. And the hatch is really going right now. And so this water, this water temperature is 40 degrees coming out of down. So it's just about the same here. So wind and cold and so forth and tiny, tiny flies and still we're catching fish. <laughs> it's a great day. Yeah. We're, we've got ahead of Memorial Day and the, and the madness of the summer. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll, guess we'll call it a day then.